This painting is my vision for your provision. Abraham and Isaac, the Lord will provide. Abram looked up and there in a thicket, he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the place the Lord will provide. And to this day, it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Genesis chapter 22, verse 13 to 14. When I was growing up in my father's house, I never worried if I would have no food to eat or clothes to wear. However, when I became a born again, child of God, all of a sudden, every doubt started invading my mind. It wasn't my brain playing a trick on me. It was the devil accusing my heavenly father that he wasn't able or caring enough for his children. How can we know the father's provision if we've never experienced lack? How can we experience his healing if we've never been sick? And how can we know faith if we don't first know fear? It is in our greatest tests are found our greatest testimonies. That day, Father Abraham learned the greatest lesson of his life, faith. That faith was his spiritual mountain upon which he can receive God's miraculous provision. The ram in the thicket, which was later sacrificed as the burnt offering instead of Isaac, wasn't actually caught by its horns, though it was. Abraham looked up and saw what happened. The four-legged creature was really caught by the Heavenly Father's loving care for his children, Abraham and his son. Indeed, Isaac wasn't saved by an animal nor by chance. Abraham's heir was saved by a promise that the Lord will provide. 2,000 years ago, God provided the ultimate ram as our ransom. Caught by the cross, Jesus, the Lamb of God. The heir of heaven died in our stead. Since the Father God did not spare His own Son, but gave Him up for us, is there anything else He would gladly and freely give to us?